Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. The MacBook Air was just refreshed with new internals and new features and a bunch of stuff to love. We've already looked at really what's new with the MacBook Air, so for this video we're going to be comparing two different models, the base dual core i3 processor and the high end quad core i7 processor. Aside from the chipset and the corresponding price jump, there are no differences between these machines. All the new machines can now support a 6K external display, including Apple's Pro Display XDR, thanks to the new Intel Iris Plus graphics. They feature an upgraded Magic Keyboard, the same one that we saw on the 16-inch MacBook Pro that has the tried and true scissor switch mechanism inside, replacing the butterfly switch mechanism. They now can be configured with up to 2 terabytes of maximum storage, and the base unit now will start at 256 gigs instead of only 128. Now the previous generation MacBook Air started with an i5 processor, but the new models start with an i3 processor. As you saw already in our previous generation versus new generation compare, even though it's an i3, because it is the new 10th generation Intel chipset, it is significantly faster than that previous gen, even going from the i5 to the i3. And this year, not only is it faster thanks to the 10th generation design, but you have two quad core options that you can configure this in, a quad core i5 and a quad core i7. So you have two upgrades that you can do. Now, we're gonna start off with the i3 processor. As you can see, this is the MacBook Air Retina 13 inch 2020 with the 1.1 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i3 processor. As usual, we're using Geekbench and we're using the latest version, which as the time of press is Geekbench 5.1. And we run the test a few different times just to see, kind of get an average on what our performance is going to be like. And after running it a few times, we are seeing results around 1095 or about 10 and a half to 1100 there for the single core and about 2400 for the multi-core scores just a tad below that on the multi-core scores compared to the previous generation definitely an improvement but we're not stopping there we want to know how it compares to the brand new quad core i7 chipset that is the most upgraded you can make the macbook air and for what it's worth it is only a 250 dollar upgrade so if you have the 1.1 gigahertz i3 processor you can go $100 more and get the 1.1 gigahertz quad core Intel i5 or spend $250 and get this 1.2 gigahertz quad core Intel core i7 processor. There's a $250 upgrade to go up to this unit. Once again, we're running the latest version of Geekbench and we ran it a few times and this time we were seeing results around $1,300 for the single core and over $3,500 for the multi-core score. Those are substantial gains yet again from the base model of the 2020s and even a bigger jump from the previous generation. Here you can see side by side going from a 1074 to around 1300 and a 2412 going up to a 3514. Obviously multi-core is getting the biggest gains because you are going from a dual core to a quad core chipset. Honestly, for $250 price jump, that is not bad at all, especially considering the new model start $100 or lower than the previous gen. If you want to grab a new MacBook Air in either configuration, you can find the best prices at the link down below in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.